And long after the GOP is gone, what's the plan for making downtown Tampa a better place? Live from the News Center in high definition, this is News Channel 8 on your side at 5.30. The city of Tampa has just 140 days left to prepare for the Republican National Convention. And of course, the city will be all shined up for the big GOP party. But Mayor Bob Buckhorn wants to go beyond the bright lights and the confetti and invest in the city's urban core for the long haul. Today, the mayor unveiled a blueprint for downtown and the surrounding areas, and he wants your input. News Channel 8's Samara Sotos is joining us live in downtown Tampa tonight with more details on that, Sam. Well, Keith, this has been a major focus for the mayor. He wants an ambition ambitious long-term development plan for downtown Tampa, a plan that would go into action this week. With a bustling Curtis Hickson Park, near to full condo complexes and new businesses, there is some spark in downtown Tampa. Yeah, more businesses. I think there's a, there's a couple bars, um, but I think people just don't feel safe right now. So, but once you get that vibe going, um, I can see a lot more business coming to downtown. I mean, there is a certain hipness and a cer certain edginess and a vibe about downtown Tampa that we haven't seen in probably 15 years, and I've been here the whole time. Mayor Bob Buckhorn wants to capitalize on this vibe. He kicked off a downtown development project with consultants and a glossy video and website. We want, actually we need your thoughts, your ideas, your experiences, and your voice. The city is using a $1.2 million HUD grant to pay for this master plan to reshape downtown, originally provided to study a rail corridor. For the next few months, city staff will meet with residents and business owners about what kind of city they want to pass on to the next generation. The mayor noted previous administrations were not as ambitious about this. I don't think we have planned for starters. Um, obviously, the economy has, has knocked this country um, on its backside. Um, I, I, I don't think there was a, a passion uh, for urban development before. Planners are looking to remake half a dozen neighborhoods, from Ybor City on the east to West Tampa, and north to Hillsborough and Nebraska Avenues. With the river as the centerpiece for development, consultants say some of the changes are as simple as turning one-way streets into two-way streets, making what's working in Tampa more accessible. You invest in that you invest in those facilities, those parks, those connections. You invest in the, in the street system so it's a place that's not just moving cars, it's a place for people to be. Now, consultants tell me that some of these changes can be budgeted immediately, but others may require more federal funding, and the mayor said today that he's pretty sure he can get some of that federal funding. Keith? Well, let's talk timetable, Sam. Uh, the mayor says he wants some community feedback. Let's assume he gets all he can handle. When can we expect to see a concrete plan? Well, you know, Keith, the first meeting that they're having on this is this Wednesday in the downtown Tampa Hyatt. Uh, that's at 6 o'clock this Wednesday. But they say that uh, by the end that they have all of these meetings, they hope to have a master planned uh, in October. Yeah, I saw Al Austin uh, making his way into the television station today for an editorial board meeting, and he says you can look for light rail in that plan coming down the future. I'd say that's uh, part of what's ahead in the future. Yeah, they talked about that as well. They want uh, mass transit and light rail, hopefully, to be a part of this plan. Smart Sotos, thank you for that. If you want to check out this downtown Tampa project, there is a link to the website on our 8 on your side Facebook page.